Have you ever wondered why the rich keep getting richer while the poor seem to be stuck in a cycle of financial struggle? What do the wealthy know about money that the rest of us don't? These are the questions that Robert Kiyosaki sets out to answer in his classic personal finance book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Kiyosaki's story is a fascinating one. Growing up in Hawaii, he had two father figures in his life. His biological dad, whom he calls his poor dad, was a highly educated man with a PhD. He worked as a government official and believed in the traditional path of going to a good school, getting a stable job and climbing the corporate ladder. Despite his education and hard work, Kiyosaki's poor dad always struggled with money, living paycheck to paycheck and never quite getting ahead. In contrast, Kiyosaki's rich dad was the father of his best friend. A high school dropout and self-made entrepreneur, Rich Dad went on to become one of the wealthiest men in Hawaii. He had a fundamentally different approach to money and life, and it was the lessons that young Kiyosaki learned from his rich dad that laid the foundation for his own financial success. In Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Kiyosaki shares those lessons with us. The book challenges many of the commonly held beliefs about work, money, and investing that keep so many of us trapped in a cycle of financial struggle. The core message can be summed up in a single phrase, don't work for money, make money work for you. It sounds simple enough, but what does it really mean? Over the course of this book summary, we'll unpack that idea and explore the specific mindset shifts and practical strategies that Kiyosaki believes can put us on the path to financial freedom. We'll look at why working for a paycheck can be a trap, how to make the shift from employee to investor, and why financial education is the key to it all. Hi, every day. Here we dive into a book that's either a bestseller or something you probably ain't heard about before but is mad interesting. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that button and join the squad. Part 1. Don't work for money. In the first section of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Kiyosaki tackles a question that's central to the book's overall message. Why shouldn't we work for money? After all, isn't that what we're taught to do from a young age? Study hard, get good grades, land a stable job with a solid paycheck and benefits. It's the formula for a successful life, right? Not according to Kiyosaki's Rich Dad. In fact, he argued that trading your time for a paycheck is one of the biggest traps there is. Why? Because it puts you in a position of always being dependent on your employer for your financial security. You're essentially a slave to the paycheck. And if that paycheck ever goes away due to layoffs, downsizing or other factors outside your control, you're left high and dry. But the problem goes deeper than just job security. Kiyosaki argues that when we focus solely on working for a paycheck, we're not really thinking about where our life is headed. We get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind of earning a living and lose sight of the bigger picture. We let our emotions, particularly fear and greed, dictate our financial decisions rather than relying on rational thinking. Think about it. How many people do you know who are stuck in jobs they hate, trading their precious time for a paycheck that never quite seems to be enough? They're afraid to leave because they don't know how they'd pay the bills without that steady income. Or maybe they stay because they're chasing a raise or a promotion, thinking that the next bump in pay will finally make them happy. But it's a losing battle. The more they earn, the more they spend, and they never quite seem to get ahead. So what's the solution? According to Kiyosaki, it starts with a fundamental mindset shift. Instead of working for money, we need to focus on acquiring and developing valuable skills. We need to see our jobs not just as a means to an end, but as opportunities to learn and grow. 
By continuously expanding our skill sets and our areas of expertise, we increase our value in the marketplace. We become more adaptable, more resilient, and better equipped to seize new opportunities when they arise. Kiyosaki's own career path illustrates this principle perfectly. Rather than climbing the corporate ladder in a single field, he intentionally sought out jobs and business opportunities that would allow him to master new skills. He learned about sales, leadership, international trade, and entrepreneurship not by getting an MBA, but by diving in and doing the work. Every career change was a strategic move designed to expand his knowledge and capabilities. In today's rapidly changing economy, that kind of versatility is more valuable than ever. Kiyosaki compares it to being a Swiss army knife, a multi-purpose tool that can adapt to any situation. The more skills you have in your toolkit, the better prepared you'll be to navigate the ups and downs of the modern job market. But the benefits of continuous learning go beyond just career adaptability. By making the acquisition of knowledge and skills your primary focus, you put yourself in a position to generate income in multiple ways. You're not dependent on any one employer or any one source of income. And that financial flexibility gives you the freedom to make decisions based on what's best for you and your family, not just what will keep a paycheck coming in. Of course, none of this is to say that earning money isn't important. We all have bills to pay and financial obligations to meet. But the point is to shift your mindset from simply trading time for money to investing in yourself and your own capabilities. When you do that, the money will come, not as an end in itself, but as a byproduct of the value you're creating in the world. It's a simple idea, but a powerful one, and it's the first step on the path to true financial freedom. Part 2. Make money work for you. So if working for a paycheck is a trap, what's the alternative? According to Kiyosaki, it's making your money work for you. But what does that actually mean in practice? At its core, making your money work for you is about acquiring assets, not liabilities. This is a key distinction that Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki, and it's one that many people get wrong. An asset, according to Rich Dad, is something that puts money in your pocket even when you're not actively working. Things like stocks, bonds, rental properties, and intellectual property can all be assets if they're generating income for you. On the flip side, many of the things that people typically think of as assets are actually liabilities. Your house, for example, is only an asset if it's putting money in your pocket every month like if you're renting it out. If you're living in it and paying a mortgage, property taxes and maintenance costs, it's a liability. Same goes for your car, your gadgets, and all the other trappings of modern life that we work so hard to acquire. The key to building real wealth, according to Kiyosaki, is to focus on accumulating assets and minimizing liabilities, Every dollar you put into a true asset is like a little employee working tirelessly to make you more money. And the beauty of it is, those little employees never sleep, never take a day off, and never complain. They just keep working for you 24-7, 365 days a year. For those who already have some financial cushion, this might mean taking a portion of your income and investing it in income-generating assets like dividend-paying stocks or rental properties. Instead of spending every dime you make on consumer goods, you're redirecting some of that cash flow into assets that will continue to pay you back for years to come. Then, when you want to make a big purchase or enjoy a luxury, you can do so using the income from your assets, not your sweat. But what if you're just starting out and don't have much money to invest? 
Kiyosaki's advice is to focus on two things, living below your means to avoid taking on bad debt and saving as much as you can to start building your asset base. That might mean driving an older car, living in a more modest home, or cooking meals at home instead of eating out. The goal is to widen the gap between what you earn and what you spend so that you have more money to put to work for you. Regardless of your starting point, the key is to start thinking of your assets as a business you're managing. Just like an entrepreneur looks for ways to maximize profits and minimize expenses, you want to be strategic about how you allocate your resources. Every financial decision you make should be viewed through the lens of how it will affect your balance sheet in the long run. A great example of this principle in action is the story of McDonald's. Most people think of McDonald's as a fast food hamburger chain, but the real business isn't in selling burgers. It's in real estate. The company owns some of the most valuable commercial properties in the world, and its franchisees pay rent to the company for the privilege of operating a McDonald's restaurant on that land. The burgers are almost incidental to the real money-making machine. The lesson here is that your day job, your profession, isn't necessarily the same thing as your business. Your real business is acquiring and growing assets, regardless of how you're earning your paycheck at the moment. And the more you can treat your personal finances like a business, the faster you'll be able to build real, lasting wealth. Of course, managing assets effectively requires a certain base of knowledge. Kiyosaki identifies four key areas where financial education is critical. Accounting, understanding financial statements. Investing, knowing how to make your money grow. Markets, understanding supply and demand. And law, knowing how to use legal structures to protect your assets and minimize taxes. If those topics make your head spin, don't worry. You don't have to become an expert in all of them overnight. But you do need to start educating yourself and seeking out trusted advisors who can help guide your decision-making. And if there are areas where you lack knowledge, don't be afraid to enlist the help of qualified professionals. A good accountant, financial advisor or attorney can be worth their weight in gold. The key is to never stop learning and never stop growing. The more you understand about how money works, the better equipped you'll be to make smart choices with your own finances. And remember, knowing what you don't know is often the most valuable knowledge of all, especially when it comes to investing. The ideas in Rich Dad, Poor Dad are simple but that doesn't make them easy. Shifting your mindset from working for money to having money work for you requires discipline, patience, and a willingness to go against the grain of conventional financial wisdom. But the payoff is worth it. By focusing on acquiring assets, developing your financial intelligence, and treating your money like a business, you put yourself on the path to true financial freedom. You're no longer a slave to a paycheck, no longer caught in the endless cycle of trading time for money. Instead, you're the master of your own financial destiny. The stories and examples in this book, from Kiyosaki's own life and the lives of those he's learned from, illustrate just how powerful these principles can be when put into action consistently over time. From small steps like starting a savings plan to big leaps, like launching a business or investing in real estate, every positive financial action you take is like planting a seed. With nurturing and patience, those seeds can grow into a mighty tree of wealth that will shelter you and your loved ones for generations. But the insights in this book aren't just about getting rich. They're about living a rich life in every sense of the word. By taking control of your financial future, you open up possibilities for yourself and your family that go beyond just having more money in the bank. You gain the freedom to live life on your own terms, to pursue your passions, and to leave a lasting legacy. 
So whether you're just starting your financial journey or well on your way, let the lessons from Rich Dad, Poor Dad be your guide. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep pushing yourself to think differently about money and wealth. Your future self will thank you.